Hello and welcome back to another episode of Black Desert Online. I'm going to be your host of Dark Side, and today we're actually going to be able to get down and play some goddamn fucking game. Like, that's what we've been trying to do this whole time. Two days now into CBT1, and we are still trying to get down on some gameplay. Um, yeah, so there were a number of issues with the launcher. Um, yeah, just a lot of issues. So, no, no telling what was going on there with the launcher. Unfortunately, somebody released, uh, I guess it was officially, they released a file fixer, a file checker, and a file patcher last night that actually got the launcher to work. It goes in, downloads your games, and so forth like that. So, it was actually working, thank God. So, now I can actually jump inside the game. I actually tried to boot it up already. I'm going to pray to God that in the course of this video, it actually boots. If not, I'll probably fucking chuck this goddamn controller at the screen. And, yeah. So, number of issues though still related to the game. I kind of reported one of them. It is a CBT, you know, so you got to be aware of that. The game seems to automatically want to put you either in full screen windowed mode or windowed mode. Full screen mode, um, if you try to apply full screen, your FPS are, is going to drop. I'm going to apply it just so that way you guys can get a look at it and see. Uh, you can see that FPS drop down here to 23. Um, now, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't noticed any degradation in graphics, but the numbers being reported with this or perhaps and stuff like that, it is dropping down to 23. Like, I've seen it go as low as 15, 24, so um, that's something that was reported, um, and I don't understand why that is. I'm playing on a 980 Ti uh, OC, so I can only assume it's a problem with the, with the engine. Um, the text in the game tends to look really small, small at 1920 by 1080. I'm playing on a full-size 47-inch monitor, so not, you know, a gaming monitor like, you know, 4K. So I've got it set to 1920 by 1080, uh, 1920 by 1080. You can go higher than that um, for your resolutions, but I'm going to stick with 1920 by 1080. Texture qualities only go as high as, uh, as high. And then, you know, you can go very high with graphics quality. So I'm going to actually put that on. You got another number of options over here, screen filters and so forth for just the uh, clarity for graphics. Um, high end mode, uh, high intensity graphic mode. It includes effects being tested and may prevent smooth gameplay. So when you're playing Black Desert Online, the game is not like a lot of MMOs. The, the combat almost feels like it's a, 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 a story driven game, almost like you were playing through like a Skyrim. Like there's, there's not this point click see an action happen it's really intuitive and i'm going to point out to you something about that too that um is really really cool like for instance show blood it almost feels that's what the best thing i can compare it to for most people is going to be it's like finally the mmo version of the witcher um realistically as i started playing the game and started seeing my wife play the game the very first game that came to mind when i had to make a comparison of the game wasn't even those titles. If you played, if you play Dragon's Dogma, and if you haven't played Dragon's Dogma, fucking go out and play a game, play, play Dragon's Dogma, and if you like it, you'll probably end up love Black Desert Online. The art style, the art direction, the character creation—it's all. It all feels to me like a very upscaled version of Dragon's Dogma. And it's very, very, it has me very, very enamored with the game and what they have. Now, uh, there's some things that's going on right now, like the launch issue that has me a little bit worried about the game and where it's going. Um, and support but ultimately I think that it's going to be a game a lot of people who are into MMOs and action oriented gameplay is going to, are, are going to really really like um, yeah so then we got some optimizations uh, optimizations op options and stuff like that for your, for your graphics and so forth um, you can choose what you want to do with these uh, you can see there's a lot of upscaling and so forth that you can do with them um, yeah, I, I, I don't I didn't choose to have any of these on um, this is one of the things that kind of really reminded me sorry about that noise it was my goddamn phone um, this was one of the things that really kind of annoyed me with um, uh, with reminds not annoyed me um, that reminded me of of uh, dragon's dogma when you switch into night mode the game gets really dark when the game is raining at night and you're in night mode it gets even darker 
that was something Dragon's Dogma brought on where, you know, you had to realistically wear a lantern. Like, night really felt like night and moving around at night, you know, the monsters that you encountered were harder. The, you know, the things that were going on at night changed from what they were during the day. So there is a need for you to have some kind of lighting effect so that way you can do that. So you can remove other people's lanterns. The other thing in here is removing other players' effects. The sprites in this game are ridiculous, okay? They are far none awesome. I would put them on the scale of Guild Wars or A Realm Reborn and far none awesome. So take that as you want to. If you want to remove their effects and you're having problems, maybe you want to do one of those things. I'm not going to remove other people's lanterns because I want to see those shadowing and the lighting effects and so forth. Um, the next thing is your scaling. This, if you left this at base 85, this interface gets really fucking tiny. I mean, the words are too hard to read, so I upped it all the way to 120. And then I'm going to point out these things right here, the camera effects. You've got all camera effects, the camera shaking effects, the camera after image effects, the camera angle effects, the zoom in and out of camera. Yeah, there's a lot of shit to be done with the goddamn camera in this game, which is really cool. It was something that was added as a mod to The Witcher 3, and that's uh, I can't remember what the name of the mod was inside The Witcher 3. Um, I didn't necessarily do a review on it. I tried it, loaded it up real quick just to see what it was like. And it basically puts it there so that way it's really great for those players that are recording games and they want to do, you know, really cool shot effects and stuff like that with the camera. The camera's kind of independent of the movement that you're doing. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's fucking really cool. Same thing with your photos and so forth like that. The world is so beautiful that I guarantee you you're going to be in places where you're definitely going to want to take photos. Uh, yeah, and then we have our gammas and so forth you can also change the vision range of how far out you can actually see things um, it's defaulted down to about 55 50 or whatever it is choose that as you see fit uh, I don't really see a problem with there and then your screenshots for your for your graphics images go ahead and drop that down JPEG bitmap uh, or PNG whatever one you want to do I'm gonna leave those there the audio options the game's music so far to me really awesome i'm gonna as we play this game i'm gonna show you guys the character that's inside the game it's almost like a little following and it reminds me of full metal alchemist brotherhood and a little homunculus that was in the jar it's amazing absolutely amazing uh, i i really like this effect now for the, for, 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 for the beta voiceovers and stuff like that have been disabled so that sucks but oh well um you know i I'm looking forward to see what the optimization, uh, excuse me, the localization is like later on. And pretty much, you know, you can get and adjust your volume settings inside here. I have everything turned up because I've got a good pair of headsets on and I don't want to fucking hear that shit. So let's go ahead and cancel out of that. We're going to leave everything as is and we're going to start in is on the game. So now they've got five channels enabled in the game, but we've only got this. This, if this is any indicative about pre-orders and so forth and who's logging in, it should give you some kind of idea about what the game's going in. The North American server is separate from the EU server, so you're not really getting cross-play. So if you if you have people that are playing the game in the EU and that you normally play with as part of your guild, take that into consideration. The same, there was an issue about that with relation to the Oceana servers and the Russian servers, the Korean servers, and who who and what countries will be in on these games. Um, personally, I don't mind just playing with North American people, especially if it's going to affect my gameplay um, as far as lag and things like that. Girl, I'd rather it be separated, but you know, I understand the nature of guilds and how those can span. Like, you know, a lot of times with a lot of my shooters, I usually get paired up with French players and Australians. My, my connection happens to be good enough to and, and endure that kind of ping, but you know, I know there's people that aren't and that can affect them. So. Uh, let's go ahead and mush into channel one of I've got a character up here for deletion because I kind of messed up and I made a really weird strange pose for him um, so I've created three characters and those videos will be up so that way you guys can see the character creation for the warrior the berserker and the mage and I had to recreate this character because there's a section in there for your pace your standby face moves face look and I had mine with his teeth gritted and like looking like a fucking bug and it, it, it doesn't look good uh, moving around. I figured the standby was just going to be like, ah, if he was just standing around he would take some kind of action pose and maybe look like that but it's 
just like that. So I kind of recreated the character. So there we go. I had to take a different name. It's a name I barely use anyways. So let's get ahead and get into this game and let's hope that everything works. I'm going to pray. So as you start up the game, you can see here that you can adjust effects that are happening on the screen. And to me, these are the same things like, um, like the Witcher 3 rain effects that are coming on the screen, splash effects from blood going on the screen, any shakiness that's coming from, you know, combat actions where you like maybe you do a ground hit. Like the Berserker has some really intense hits and they shake the screen kind of. Um, I, I would say these, pro these settings are probably... Um, they're probably there for the epileptic. Um, so if you are prone to epilepsy or you have any things like that, you, you guys should be aware. You probably want to turn these down to low because like, they can be jarring. And to me, it's almost like um, when we played uh, uh, Dying Light um, and you had some of those jarring effects. So keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and complete that. So those are going to be the settings that we're going to change. All right, guys, let's get into it. 